green light and a thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. Welcome to our third playoff match. Just like in qualifications, all the point values are worth the same. So during the first 15 seconds, the autonomous period, these programs, robots are moving pre-programmed and everything's worth an additional point. They can get a couple points just for moving outside their community. The Blue Lions looking strong with Team 45. The Technocats already in the balance charge station position at the end of the match. The remainder of the time is teleoperated. If you've seen this before, you're super familiar. The students have picked up the controllers and are now charged with their robot, just like 5188, making fabulous loose use of their loading area. That's where they can bring in additional game pieces that weren't there at the start. Placing a cone in the top part of the grid scores five points for their alliance. 6721 going over the charge station. Although that can do extra damage to the robots, so they're keeping an eye on that throughout the period of the match. 1555 Cryonics doing the same, although they're going to be a little bit more adept here in the center of the match using their unique grabbing mechanism to pick cones up off the ground. Not every team can do that in this game. 1501, that's Team Thrust. They're doing pretty good so far in this match. They're using their human player station to their advantage to make sure they can get additional game pieces throughout the end of the match. The score is currently 49 to 62. Lots of time remaining for them to change that. 67-21 with their blindingly blue LEDs traversing the center of the field with the cube. They're trying to make up those links inside of their grid. Links are worth five points. And just a reminder, a link is defined as three pieces horizontally placed in their grid. Plenty of time still remaining. The Technocats, Team 45, has moved into a more defensive position for the remainder of the match as their mechanism seems to have fallen off the front of their robots. 15.55 Cryonics making careful decision making as we enter end game. We'll start to see robots making their way over to the charge station to gain final points for their alliance. Keep an eye on 15.55. They're hanging just precariously off to allow lots of room for their super wide teammates to fit on the top of the charge station. 10 seconds remaining on the match. The Red Alliance looks like they're on their way to getting three bounds. The Blue Alliance hoping to do the same. With four seconds remaining, the Red Alliance is looking pretty strong. We'll have to see how these scores total up. Here are your results for playoff match three. Your winners are the Red Alliance. The Red Alliance is your second alliance. We'll continue to see them in the upper bracket. We'll next see them in match eight because of their score of 131. They beat the Alliance 7s 88. We'll next see Alliance 7 in the lower bracket at match six. Remember, running a double elimination. Only some of these teams has lost once, so they're not out quite yet.